Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another Let's Build series. I'm going to be building another 60s or 70s ranch house sort of thing. Um, kind of similar to the last one I built, but not completely, you know, the same or anything. Um, eh, this is probably going to be a three-part video like usual. Try to keep things fairly concise, but I'm um, also try not to speed too fast because I know... Uh, people had mentioned that with some of my other Let's Builds, and I realized that I do tend to um, go a little faster than I probably should, so I'm going to try and cut down on that a bit. So with that having been said, let's go ahead and put put down the first blocks. That was kind of awkward. Also, this is kind of stuttery all of a sudden. I don't know why. I wasn't having any problems. Um, let's decrease this by two. Let's try that. Yeah, I wasn't having any problems with frames or anything. Um, before I started recording, so I don't know, I guess that's probably it. I had like uh, multiple other programs open um, without the recording going, and it was running just fine, and now it decides to be all skippy and stuttery. Well, this is... I don't know, I have a lot of tabs open in my browser. So, logically, I would just go and shut those, or close that, but I don't want to have to find those things again that I have open right now. That would be a huge hassle. Well, not huge, because there's history, obviously, but it would still be kind of a pain. I don't know if I'm just willing to carry that weight. So, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Anyways, this house is going to be a ranch house, probably three, four bedrooms, uh, very Spanish colonial, eclectic sort of design, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about it, I think. My gosh, this, I don't know if it's, if it's my mouse or if it's the game or what exactly the case is, but this is really not too good. I'm not liking this, on this skippiness, it's, uh, it's gross. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll try to fight through that as best we can. I don't know, I always say we, I guess it's because obviously I'm referring to the audience being you guys. So the kind of, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Here there's some train of logic to explain it, but I don't know what exactly it is, so... Oh well. Okay, so... Let's see, this is gonna be the garage here, as you can probably tell if you know, um... If you recognize this sort of pattern from my other Let's Builds. And let's see, so this is gonna be the entryway into the home, and this spec area... This area behind this is probably going to be the living room. So... Let's build this wall up here. And... I guess this will be where we start with the, um, the front facade of the house. Oh, let's see. What materials to use? Probably dark oak start with. I know there's other materials that I'd wanted to use too, so we're gonna get around to putting those on soon enough, I'm sure. And then this had... let's see. Uh, we'll use oak or birch wood. There we go. Let's see, actually, I can probably move this over by one. And then... There we go. And then we'll do two blocks here. Yeah, this is really laggy. I, I don't remember it ever being like this. Well, at least recently. I know it was absolutely awful um, when I had my old desktop. You guys 
those of you who have probably, or those of you who have been subscribed since, I guess anytime before, like, December of 2013, January of 2014, you guys probably remember that, uh, when I would get, like, 10 frames per second in a video. That was just awful. Absolutely awful. Alright, so, well, now we have the front facade of the house, along with the kind of general gist of what we want to do with the floor plan. I don't know why I keep saying we. I guess it's it's just like I said, I'm kind of thinking, okay, you guys building at home. So, we... I don't know, I guess somewhere in my head, some somewhere buried deep inside, that makes sense somehow, but... Oh well. I am not a philosopher, nor am I a psychologist, so... That's probably one riddle that won't be going figured out. So I'm just trying to think here. I want to make this kind of the master bedroom, and I want to have an ensuite mini bathroom. Which I guess will probably go here. And maybe we'll push one more into this bedroom space. I know it's... I'm kind of, um... Preempting myself here by uh, toying around with the layout of the rooms before the whole house is even built, obviously. But I think, you know, in my personal experience, that's the um, the easiest way I've found to do it. Obviously, you guys out there building along have your own um, techniques and ways about these things. But I've just found that... You know, when you go into building a house with a general floor plan in mind, it really does help to just kind of rough that out before you start enclosing everything in. Like I said, that's not for everyone. Obviously, everybody has their different uh, preferences and all that good stuff, and that's fine and dandy. I just find that's that um, this is the best way for me to do it. So, uh, let's see, we'll make two blocks. I don't know, I, I guess um, with this lag, you guys could comment and see how, or just say how it looks or appears in the video. Um, I've had instances where, you know, while I'm recording, it seems fine and dandy, but uh, after I um, render it and when I post it, I look back at it, say, when I'm, like, checking up on a comment or something, and it's just like, wow, that is really bad, and uh, I never really would have realized. Also, I think I'm going to add one more block of, uh, kind of width to this house here, just so I can squeeze in a little bit more in terms of features, and it can be just a little bit more open, well... Not necessarily open, just want slightly bigger room sizes. This is going to be the bathroom here in the middle. I think I'm going to shoot for four bedrooms with this. So I'm going to put one last bedroom here. And then we'll figure out how to divide the um, kitchen and living space after that's in. So we'll wrap around like so. Now, here comes the question. I guess what would probably be best is to kind of follow a linear path coming in from the entryway, where you have the kitchen here and then the dining area here. Maybe we'll recess that, as in sink it into the floor a little bit. We'll see how that goes. All right, well, let's just throw some of these down to have a general idea of how this kitchen is going to look. So we'll have the stove in the middle here, fridge here, sink we'll do a double sink there and then we'll have kind of an island space um an island slash bar type of deal i think that'll be pretty cool i think that will work so let's go ahead and roll with that Put in the window here and more windows so uh let's see we're gonna put a door out to the patio here this area is going to be level, it's not going to be recessed, just so we can have like bar stools here. Theoretically, I don't think I'm going to furnish this house, so if that's a touch that you guys want to add if you're building along with me, 
then that's um, that's basically the whole point of that feature. Also, I think the sun is setting, so yay! All right. Um, now what? That is always the question. Well, I guess the first step now would be to start working on the recessed flooring in the oops in the dining area here. Let me grab this. There we go. Realistically, the next step would be to um, start working on the roof and stuff like that, but <laughs> I'm not realistic, so... Realistic maybe in terms of my builds, but that's about it. That is about it. So yeah, this is going to be the living space, and this will be the dining area nook whatever you want to call it. Oops. And try to continue the pattern up here. Uh, actually, no, yeah, here would be, right? I think I'm just going to use this kind of tile pattern for every uh, tile area in the house, which is the kitchen, the bathroom, bathrooms, plural, and the entryway. So that's what we'll just do for this, or with this. Boy, there's there's so much stuff that I want to record, but it seems like I have even less time now to actually do that, which is kind of a pain, but yeah, I mean, I guess it can't be helped, really. Yeah, there's... I had kind of wanted to do a let's build of a whole strip mall, but I feel like... Um, at the current rate that I have time available to record, and how long generally recording and obviously building in those recordings tends to take, that project probably would take a very long time to get to anything resembling completion. And that's not good, partly because I don't, you know, if, if, if I'm really interested in something, I really like to uh, just get it done ASAP. And also because usually, you know, when I make my thumbnails, I make it with a screenshot of the completed build. And thus, I really wouldn't be able to start making thumbnails and start uploading the videos until I made a really substantial amount of progress, if not finished the build completely. And so basically, I would be working on recording something off and on for probably upwards of a month, and you guys wouldn't see any of it for that same amount of time. I would still be sitting on a whole bunch of episodes and blah blah blah, it just wouldn't, uh, just would kind of be a mess, so... Yeah, I guess that's a... Not really much a point in me sharing that story, it's just kind of a plan I had probably won't end up going through with out of a lack of practicality so <laughs> sorry for the teaser I guess uh, I don't know I don't know all right so well we have the general floor plan and all that good stuff down so I think now would be a good time to start working on the roof this episode is ticking up towards 15 minutes which is fine and good I think for now I'm gonna do the roof and then just kind of leave it at that then we'll resume in the next episode with uh, probably the interior, and we'll see how that goes. It's probably, you know, usually these Let's Builds are about three episodes long. Uh, for those of you who don't watch a whole lot of these or maybe are new subscribers to the channel, generally the Let's Build series are about three episodes long, with the first episode doing or being pretty much exactly what I'm doing now, which is... Uh, building the exterior of the house up and getting a general feel for the interior layout with the episode after that usually being the interior detailing and then the episode after which is also usually the last episode being landscaping so it's kind of a three-step process and that's the same general process that I follow for probably the majority of my builds sometimes I skip around especially if it's a bigger thing but Generally, in the majority of cases, that's the process I follow.
Also, um, I guess one thing worth noting is that uh, the main reason, and I this just uh, uh, this just now occurred to me, and I'm not really sure why, but the main reason why I generally tend not to do larger builds on camera, uh, with larger builds being anything from strip malls to um, office buildings, anything like that, is because I rely a lot on MC Edit for copy and pasting and that sort of thing. So. You know, it gets to be in some points, or at some points, you know, I basically, I spend maybe five minutes in game and then open up MC Edit and then use that for five minutes and then kind of go back and forth and back and forth and uh, it's doable from a recording standpoint, but it probably would be kind of choppy and would also be a bit of a hassle to edit to keep everything sequential, so... Any of you guys were ever wondering why I very rarely, if ever, let's build large things on camera, that is pretty much why. And I like to, you know, when, well like I just said about the strip mall thing that I had sort of kind of planned and then had fallen through, um, when I get really into a big build like that, I just want to, you know, just bum rush through it and get the whole thing done so I can have you know, another piece of the puzzle complete, basically. And that, uh, I guess, you know, having to constantly break every five minutes, not only to go back to MC Edit or go back to the game, but also to check on the recording and make sure that's all right and good is kind of a hindrance when it comes to that, so. Yeah. Nobody's really asked me about that, and I'm not really sure what inspired that little tangent, but, oh. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> if ever you've wondered, then that's one more question answered, I guess. All right, so we're almost finished with the roof here. Um, I think what I'm gonna do after this is just build a couple of generic things like the fence around the house, and I'm gonna replace the material inside the garage space, space and along the driveway using MC Edit. And then I will be back to work on the build some more. So, uh, it probably goes without saying at this point, but as always, if you enjoy the video, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, you know, whatever, all that good stuff if you haven't done it already. If you didn't enjoy the video, then that's fine too, but please tell me why you didn't like it. Some constructive criticism is always helpful, and I try to improve where, when, and how I can. So anyways, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you in the next episode.